They say when you're surrounded by infinity, make any wish and it will come true. It's just a story, but the impossible has already happened. The world was torn apart by the undead, and I'm still here. So I'm going to find some infinity. I suppose it's about time I moved on. This is a pretty good camping spot, like nicely sheltered. Uh, not too much snow around. But now it's time to get out of the snow entirely. I don't even know who left this here. It's not like I've seen anyone else around. Right. How do I get out of the snow? From the view I got from on top of that building, it's somewhere over that way? Ooh, a bee. Huh. Oh, okay. Oh, there's life in this direction. Good. Good. That's a good sign. That's what I was hoping for. Snow is just a bit too... daunting. Oh! Hello! Huh! <laughs> yeah, this is a good sign. Ooh, water leaking from somewhere. Hello! Okay. Alright, keep going this way then, and uh, I might stand a chance. Keep away from weird holes in the ground. I said keep away from weird holes in the... Oh, wow. Oh, that must be the underground. The, uh, the underground rails. I'll just grab this, but I don't really want to go down there. Who knows what could be down in the underground. Hello? Hmm. Not seen something like you before. Hmm. Right. So if there's the edge of the snow this way, then I need to create a base and begin begin working towards infinity. It's not going to be easy. Not even sure it's possible. But impossible things happen. Mm, can't really climb the vines. Suppose I could just dig my way up here. There, made it up. Oh, oh, could this be the edge of the snow? No. Okay, guess that. Guess that area is just sheltered. Unless, yes, brilliant. Oh, that is a that is a good sign. That is a very good sign. Okay, things are looking up now. So I just need to get back down to ground level. Oh, oh no, no, not in there. Something's something's wrong with that building. Uh, I'll just I'll just go around it. Uh. Oh wow. Look at that. Streets with no snow. All right, what about this one? No, no, no. <sighs> No. Oh. Drop down here. Ooh. Ooh, it's dark. Keep away from that. Things live in the dark. Oh, this is a nice area. Trees, that's a good starting point. Don't really know how I'm, how I'm going to go about my task, but... They could be a valuable part of that. Huh. Remnants as well. Let's try and ignore them. <clears> hmm. <throat> yes. Yes, this could be... Oh, and water. Yes, this is a very good sign. Alright. So, how do I produce infinity? Oh, there's a chest in there. A 
looks empty. <laughs> no. No. <sighs> I don't know what's wrong with so many of these buildings. What about this one? Yes? Yes. Okay, so this one's fine. No, not that one. That one's not fine. Let's just block that up. Ah. Um, right, so there should be a way to... Oh, hang on. There. All right. That will be able to tell me how secure these things are. So, I will secure the building. Make sure there's... I don't like those sounds. Okay, so this connects to that all the way up. Alright, so secure the building. And then uh, work out what the hell I'm going to do. Oh, yeah, this is a nice area. Water leaking from that one as well. There. All right, this should now be secure. Oh, wow, that, that building's even shorter than this one. Oh, well, this one's not very tall. Oh! Okay. <sighs> All right, don't go out there. Very glad I blocked off that building now. Yeah, this is not a tall one. Okay. But that is a good starting point. Hmm. I think long term, I'm probably going to need a taller building. I've got a lot that I'm going to have to fit into this. Oh, I suppose there are underground layers. Ah! Okay, that's bad. You can't see to shoot directly up very well. Go down one more layer. Alright. Can they climb? I don't actually know. Never seen one climb. Doesn't mean they can't. Alright, I need to be aware of that. But, for now, I should get out and use the daylight while it's here. Ah! Oh, hell. Oh, no. That's the problem. Can you see me? Is he pursuing me? Yes. Yes and yes. Okay, how on earth do I evade an armoured skeleton? He is still following me. Ah, there he is. Oh. Hello? Can I lure him around here and ditch him somehow? Where is he? Where'd he go? Did he fall in? Oh, he did! Perfect. Okay, I should be able to just leave him in there then. Note to self, they follow you into a pit. Okay, I need to be careful. What is my goal? To produce infinity. How do I do that? I do not know, and it looks like it's getting dark. I could check the database at night. Well, I could check the database, but you know, I could check it while I'm hiding. I can hear them. They're just milling around below me. Actually, I'll put lights on the outside of this one so I can find it in the dark if I need to. Right, what am I working with then? I've got a sleeping bag, but I think I'll take tonight to work out what I'm doing. So, infinity. So, I need infinity catalysts. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is going to be difficult. Quartz, lead, silver, nickel. How do I get this stuff? Yes! Of course! 
Yes, the um, the the industrialized magic. We see remnants of around the place. I can't see them through glass. That's interesting. Or maybe not at night. I don't really know. I never really studied this stuff. Yes, industrialized magic. Um, infused into crops, I can use that to mass produce things. That's how most of the resources were made, I believe. I need stone. Hmm. I feel like that's not going to be a way to get it. I place this down there. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like that's not a way to do it. If they've got bows, I might be in trouble. Uh, right, first things first, let's get some chests and I can empty my stuff, stick it in the corner. All right, try and be brave. Oh, so there's a room here. All right, so what I could do is I could try and secure it piece by piece. So let's get, uh, no, let's use, let's use wood, more distinct down there. I should block the top, because then they can't shoot. Oh, coal! Coal is helpful. Oh, there are a lot of them down here. Luckily, they are not intelligent creatures. There we go! Is that clear? Oh. Oh. Opens up. Uh, are we good down here? We are not good down here. Okay. Alright, so that opens up. That's a problem. But, again, he can be lured. It's a different one, also wearing armor. Yeah, he is going to take forever to kill. I'll just take that then. And let's try going down another layer. Anything down here? Some weird white stuff. Oh, and a box. What's in here? Oh, armor, minigun ammo, micro missiles, gunpowder, melon seeds. Okay, there's actually quite a lot in here. Break that. Am I doing? Yeah, got space for this as well. So it looks like those might be the way to go. If the other buildings have similar loot in them, then I could get a load of stuff, but it would mean overcoming the chills. What's below here? Mm, just more rooms. Ooh, stuff on the floor. Okay, so that is this building secured was this silver ore. Appetite. Alright, I think appetite is less useful, but copper is very useful. Hmm. Alright, if I just break through... Oh, bookcases. I don't think I need bookcases. Right, so that's the ground floor. That's good to know. So it's just the uh, the tunnel on this floor that was guarded. Is he still here? You he still here? Yes, he is. Okay, not much I can do about him. Hmm. Yeah, that looks like that opens the stuff in there. Uh, coal. Oh, but there's coal here. There. Alright. 
just this guy to deal with. I could be here forever. I feel I should mark this floor as well so that I can see it while I'm on the ladders. There. Now I should be able to tell at a glance how close I am to the ground floor. Okay. I think I'm better off just going down and mining some stone on the lower floors. Until I find a way to deal with that guy. Uh, oh, there's a, an inbuilt scanner in the uh, thing. Uh, how do I activate it? There. Oh, so that's the um, that's the underground rail system, by the look of it, that I found. Okay. Alright, which way is safe to dig then? This way? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, it's day now. Oh, let's get out there and do some more, do some more tree farming. Hello. Okay, right. Oh, I could do some actual farming. I, I can actually grow things. Wow, that's an old skill. Because this thing, I believe, is a mattock. Right, what have I got? Beetroot. Uh, and I've got some industrial hemp. And some saplings. Well, there are lots of you. Lots of uh, seeds. What do I actually need to do, to do the, um, the crops? What was it called? Um, mystical. Uh, right. Seeds. Prosperity seeds. So I need prosperity shards. Which I found underground. Ah! So, oh, sorry, maybe jump. Hmm. Um... Right, so I need prosperity shards, and I need ordinary seeds, so I should have a supply of those. Ideally, I want to set up a hydroponics thing, which is why I don't think a three-level building is going to be enough. Even with the underground floors, I don't think that's going to be large enough for what I need. But it will do as a starting base while I get some stuff together in the, the courage to go into harder stuff because I'm probably going to have to overcome whatever it is that's dragging at me in those places there we go that area is nice and clear so I have saplings let's start planting these spaced out there alright now I should have a supply of wood and I've got any other good seeds mm. Industrial hemp will be useful for uh, string, I believe. Two, three, four, five. There we go. All right, what's next then? Well, I need prosperity shards to start doing these. What is this, a, a garden clutch? Hmm. That might be a good way of um, hydroponics farming. Don't really know how they work, but I will have to discover many things that I do not know now. Oh, well, this one. You're all over the place. What's this? Oh. Hello. You're a different one. Huh. What's down here? I don't really have the torches to go delving to find out, but... Uh, it is, what, a station? Yeah, okay. All right, well, good to know that there is a station there. I don't need it, but good to know that it's there in case I do happen to set up any long-term. Oh, did I just hear one taking damage? You okay? 
Okay, right. So I'll just get rid of this. It's bugging me. Right, so I need Prosperity Shards to get seeds. I need Inferium, which I, seems like I also dig up. Uh, where can I find Prosperity Shards? Can I tell where they form? No, I cannot. Oh no, that's because that's the shard I'm looking for. Here. Ah, in the dimensional mine shaft. That is not what I was hoping to read. What have I got? Ender Surge Gem, Earth Shards, Compressed Iron, Slimy Seeds. Ooh. El Elderberry. Clears poison. Oh, clears potions, right. Yes, that's useful. Augmented arrows, more seeds, condensed blood. Oh, my tools are quite damaged. How do I repair those? Uh, tinker. Uh, crafting station. Oh, I need some of those things. So let's get some patterns. That's what they're called. Uh, and do I use this? I think that plus that equals a crafting station. Good. That's helpful. Uh, and what else do I use these for? Part builder, part chest, and a tinker station. All right, so I need... I've already forgotten. I need... No, I don't think I need anything, so... Let's have a part builder, and a... I don't have a chest. And a part chest, and a tinker station. That should be all I need. So let's stick the chest in the corner. The part builder there and the tinker station there. Right. Set up now. Oh, is it getting dark again? Uh, how do I repair these? I'm going to need cobble. Because I believe they're made of rock. Yeah, rock, rock, rock. Oh, iron. Oh, good. And I just stick that in there. Brilliant. All right. Uh, I will leave some in there, but I will also make... A furnace. Okay, things are moving up. I'm making some progress, however minor. I don't really have the coal to burn, so instead, let's stick in some logs and cook those into charcoal. <sighs> really back to basics. All this dirt. Um, could probably do something better than that. Uh, birch table. Maybe frivolous, but... There. I sort of feel that frivolity is going to keep me going in this. And that's a cactus! Uh, do I have any spare? Let's go with an oak sapling. That's pretty. And I've got a cactus, so I, I, can, I can grow... I can grow that if I can get sand. That's lucky, because I don't know that cacti are native to this sort of area. I probably don't need bookcases right now. Oh, that's nice. Beginning to get hungry. Uh, I think I got lucky finding these. I do have berries and stuff, but they just don't seem as appealing as meat. I keep finding I'm just coming here to stare out of this city. Right, charcoal. If I was to go for garden clutches, I'd need... incandescent light bulbs, which would require... copper, paper, and glass... on a... engineer's workbench, which needs steel and... treated sticks which need treated wood, which you get from something. 
uh, logs with creosote oil and creosote oil I get from logs again. So I need a pyrolyzer, which requires constantin, which requires constantin dust, which is nickel and copper dust. Ah, uh, <laughs> this is going to take a while, but theoretically when I get things up and running, the um, the clutches should provide a fairly stable source of, they're going to need power, a fairly stable source of materials. That is how most of the pre-apocalypse world ran. Let's get some more torches. Okay, that wasn't many, but that's okay, I just need logs for that. Because, let's try going in here. There's a chest right there. Surprisingly hard for stuff to appear. Oh no! Oh, hell. Oh no, it's now in my house. That's a problem. That is... That is a definite problem. Bugger. Yeah, he is rock hard. There. I actually beat him. Oh no! Ooh -hoo -hoo. Okay, there are lots of them in there. That one has weird eyes. That's not good. Ugh. This is going to be harder than I thought. And I thought it was going to be pretty difficult. But... I found some armor, and I'm going to take it as an omen that I need to be more courageous. I need to try harder. I need to get equipment, upgrade my stuff, go into where it's dangerous, find those chests, create infinity, and save the world. <sighs> Alright. This is going to be difficult, but I can do it.